Hello students, very good morning to one and all. Welcome to the next lecture of online theory class series of subject Novel Drug Delivery System. I am Mrs. Arti Majumda, Associate Professor from the Department of Pharmaceutics, Smriti College of Pharmaceutical Education, Indore. Dear students, in continuation of our discussion over mucoadhesive drug delivery system, uh, today we are going to discuss about various evaluation parameters of mucoadhesive drug delivery system and buccal adhesive drug delivery system. Now, various evaluation parameters they may differ uh, with the doses form which is formulated for formulated as mucoadhesive drug delivery device such as if it is formulated as mucoadhesive tablets, then the evaluation parameters may be such a, the basic evaluation parameters which are there for tablet doses form, they all will be evaluated such as weight variation, tablet assay, content uniformity, tablet thickness, friability, disintegration time, dissolution, all these uh, general evaluation parameters which are eva evaluated for tablet to system, they will be evaluated along with other parameters such as residence time, tensile strength or residence time then for, uh, then for tablet to system, muco addition strength will be there and permeability status will be there. Tensile strength will not be there for tablet to system. If Doses form formulated for um, formulated as mucoadhesive drug delivery device. If it is a film or patch, then uh, evaluation parameters which are which are there for uh, patches such as uh, or disintegration, dissolution, residence time, tensile strength is the evaluation parameter for patches and films. Then folding endurance. It is also evaluated, uh, patches are also evaluated for folding endurance. Then mucoadhesion strength and permeability studies will be there. If the doses form, uh, mucoadhesive doses form, it is a semi-solid doses form such as gel or ointment or cream. Then various parameters such as viscosity apart from uh, Mucoaddition studies and permeability studies, these are uh, evaluated. So, apart from, uh, it, it depends upon the which doses form is formulated as mucoaddition device. If it is a tablet, then evaluation parameter will be, uh, other evaluation parameters are there and uh, if it is formulated as film or patch, then different evaluation parameters will be studied. And for gel or gel and spray, other evaluation parameters are steady. One, uh, but the common parameters for mucoadhesive drug delivery devices, the common parameter for evaluation are mucoaddition strength and swelling index. Other parameters, swelling index is also there. So, let's discuss residence time and mucoadhesin strength which is and swelling index which are particular evaluation parameters, evaluation parameters which are to be evaluated in case of mucoadhesive drug delivery devices whether it may be tablet or it may be patch, film or gel. So, first, residence time. For, uh, for determination of residence time, a glass slide is taken. A glass slide on which a mucous membrane, it may be sheet mucous membrane can be used. It is stick over, it is made, uh, it is pasted over on glass slide and the glass slide is kept on an inclination. Then on that mucous membrane, the device is made to, uh, device is adhered 
it is a muco adhesive drug delivery device is adhered onto the mucous membrane which was mounted initially mounted on a glass slide at an angle of 30 degree now what happened the medium may be it may be phosphate buffer 6.8 it is made to pour over the glass slide over the closes uh, form muco adhesive device which is adhered over the glass slide uh, in on which mucous membrane was initially mounted now this medium any dissolution medium this medium is made to flow it made to fall drop wise on this doses form so the time up, up to which the doses form remain adhered on to the slide is noted down this is called as residence time it is the time up to which any muco adhesive device remain adhered to the mucus membrane so this is residence time this is determination of residence time now uh, muco adhesion muco adhesive strength muco adhesive strength this muco adhesive strength it can be determined on uh, it is of two types it can be detachment strength or it can be shear strength okay now when a muco adhesive device it is adhered on to the mucous membrane the uh, strength required to detach that device from the mucous membrane it is called as detachment strength and the force which is required to move that device from the mu from the mucous membrane in a horizontal way this is called as shear strength so muco adhesion strength it is determined by two ways by first by the strength uh, force required for detaching the device from the mucous membrane and secondly force required to move to simply move that device from one uh, place of the mucous membrane to the another in the horizontal by pushing it in a horizontal direction so now for detachment strand if the uh, patch is adhered on to the mucous membrane this is mucous membrane and this is muco adhesive drug delivery system maybe it is buckle or any other muco adhesive drug delivery system so the force required to detach this muco adhesive drug delivery system from the mucous membrane this is called as detachment strand for shear strand strand uh, this is a uh, shear strand testing apparatus so on this in this apparatus there are two it comprises uh, it comprises of two glass plates these two glass plates are there on which polymer muco adhesive polymer is being coated two glass plates are there on which for muco adhesive polymer is coated now these two glass plates they are these two polymer coated glass plates they are adhered joined to each other by a thin coating of a natural mucus or a synthetic mucus membrane so in between these two glass plates in the on which muco adhesive polymer is coated these are joined by a thin layer of mucus membrane now force is applied from the, this upper side this is pulley and it force is applied on one glass plate this glass plate at sufficient force the force sufficient to pull one of this glass plate in horizontal direction horizontal to the mucous membrane so that force it is noted from this meter device it is called as shear strength now uh, one more uh, apparatus it is actually for for the determination of residence time uh student we have seen usp disintegration apparatus usp disintegration apparatus it is composed of a uh, in, in that disintegration apparatus a beaker is there in which about 800 ml of the medium may be 
number is uh, filled and it is modified for the for the determination of residence time. What happened in that beaker? Uh, PVS phosphor buffer filled beaker. One glass clap is hanged with a thread, and on that glass clap, a mucous membrane is coated initially. On that mucoadhesive drug delivery system, it is adhered. Now, what happened when this USP modified USP disintegration apparatus? It is not actually calculating disintegration. Here we are noting, we are determining residence time. So, what happened when the switch uh, switch on when the apparatus is switch on? Then it start glass will start moving up and down, and it is so maintained that height of the uh, solution is so maintained that slab should not come out of the medium when it goes up, and it should not touch the base of the beaker. So the time up to which that mucous adhesive device it remain adhered onto the beaker, or the time which is required to at which that mucous adhesive drug delivery device is eroded, it is noted as residence time. So there are many ways to calculate these evaluation parameters. Dear student, we, you all know how you calculate peak duration. We always take in uh, tablet doses form. We take we take twenty tablets according to USP and then weigh them individually. And after uh, individual weighing, then we uh, compare the weight with the average weight of the tablet. And there are certain percentage limit which are given in USP. So that which uh, with the help of which we uh, we got to we can infer that if they are following they are they are the batches being passed or batches uh, out of specification. So these AC method, protein uniformity method, these are also done according to the individual form, according to the pharmacopoeia individual methods which are given uh, particularly to the uh, drugs. Particularly in the drug monograph. Now, thickness it is calculated with the help of one year caliper, then friability with the help of ocean, friability of disintegration time, it is noted with the help of uh, USP disintegration apparatus, then dissolution apparatus for muco adhesive drug delivery devices, uh, more, uh, most commonly, muco uh, USP type 2 dissolution apparatus is used, that is, adult type apparatus. Then, residence time, we have already discussed tensile strength. Tensile strength is also, uh, tensile strength is basically evaluated in terms, in case of transdermal, uh, sorry, patches, when patches, are, buckle patches are formulated. So, transdermal strength is also calculated in the same way such that uh, shear strength. Then, folding endurance. Folding endurance is also a evaluation parameter which is being used to evaluate patches or films. In this folding endurance, uh, the patch which is being formulated, it is taken and it is folded. And up to what numbers the patches, patches is being folded. For example, see. For example, if this is a patch, this is a bigger one. If it is, it is folded like that. So, up to what number it is folded without breaking the patch. This is called as folding endurance. It may be the readings may be 2, 3, 4 like that. So, viscosity it is viscosity is a very important evaluation parameters parameter which is required to evaluate semi-solidosis form uh, for uh, calculating viscosity. Rootful viscometer is being used. Then, micro addition strength we have already discussed. Permeability studies. Permeability studies are uh, done with the help of various diffusion cells. For example, French diffusion cell. These diffusion cells, they have a donor compartment which is on the upper side and a receptor compartment which is on the, uh, sorry, uh, the, yeah, donor compartment which is on the upper side and a receptor compartment which is on the lower side. And this diffusion cell is mounted over a uh, magnetic stirrer. So that a temperature and a stirring speed is maintained. Between this donor and receptor compartments, mucous membrane uh, is mounted on which a mucoadhesive device is applied. For example, if patch is there, then it was adhered.
here onto the mucous membrane between receptor and donor compartment. So after a particular uh, interval of time, samples are being taken from the receptor compartment and are analyzed in with the help of UV visible spectrometer. So with the help of this, we got to understand, we got knowledge, we can get knowledge about uh, the permeation of drug through that mucous membrane into the receptor compartment. Swelling so, index is also calculated for mucoadhesive drug delivery system in that the devices, mucoadhesive device, maybe it is a tablet, a uh, tablet of film. So what happened, this is kept in, it is initially weighed and then it is kept in a medium or like phosphate buffer 6.8 or 7.4. So after a particular time, so again it is weighed. And then swelling index is calculated by final by the formula final weight minus initial weight divided by initial weight into 100. So student, these, this is all about the evaluation parameters of mucoadhesive drug delivery system. Dear student, in this heading mucoadhesive drug delivery system, we have covered about what are mucoadhesive drug delivery system, what are the objectives or of mucoadhesive drug delivery system including various advantages and disadvantages of mucoadhesive drug delivery system. Dear students, we have also studied about various types of mucoadhesive drug delivery system. We have also discussed about uh, various principles of mucoadhesion and bioadhesion including various theories of mucoadhesion. Students, we have also studied about various factors affecting mucoadhesion along with the drug permeability. Then we have studied about what are buccal drug delivery system and various formulation consideration of buccal drug delivery system. Then we studied, today we have also covered what are the various evaluation parameters of mucoadhesive drug delivery devices. So student, uh, this covers the topic mucoadhesive drug delivery system. Thank you.